Vostok, as you know, the discovery of oil in Leduc was the single most important economic event in the history of Alberta. And, uh, well, I, I was appointed in uh, 1912 at, uh, at the university here, and then we founded the Alberta Research Council. And there was many people, they believed that Alberta was barren of mineral resources. We at the Alberta Research Council, the Alberta Geological Survey, we always believed that there were mineral resources in the province. We, we well, of course, uh, Turner Valley was producing already in, in, uh, by the time uh, the, the Second World War came around, and the gas, medicine had, and uh, we have looked at all the salt and all these uh, things, we have written that up, but uh, I, I think one thing that just exemplifies that is the discovery of, of the, the oil there in the Duke. And you were one of these guys that uh, were on the, the great oil chase there. So why don't you tell us about that? Well, <clears throat> we were kind of fortunate. And uh, I was appointed to the, to, to the uh, American interests when they came in in the war. And uh, I was... Uh, finally wound up at Norman Wells on the Cannell Project there. And up there, there was a man, while they were expanding this field that had been discovered by Ted Link in the early 20s, they were expanding the field to build the pipeline across the uh, Mackenzie Mountains to join up with the Alaska Highway. So when I got up there, my first job was to take a dog team you know, and then see if there could be any reefs in the mountains because this man, Des Boggs, said there was reefs. Reefs in the Arctic? This was before there was any continental movement ever even believed in. So I take off to the mountains and it is a reef. So I come back and when they shut down the, the wells up there, on the cancellation of the war, I came back and worked for Imperial Oil. And working for the Imperial Oil was Doug Lair. He was sitting on the well at Bruderheim or reviewing the cuttings, and he said, I see the reefs you're looking for. I can see the reef cuttings in there. So there was no trouble. Ted Link. Jack Webb always listened to the man that was looking at the specimens of, of the well. And we took off with the seismic to look for it under the approval of all the geologists that were on staff. And they raced west, found the Viking field en route, kept on racing, and hit the Duke as a seismic reflector. But they... That was just the upper part. They then sputted another well. But then, oh, that's another little story. Yeah, I know. The duck layer, but he, he, he got the picture there. There's Aubrey Kerr was there as well. He was lucky. He, he was sitting on, the, uh, on, the, on that uh, mm. the, the well, and he was the he first was guy that the, saw the, the yeah, reefs coming but, up. But the thing is, he was on number two well. Mm -hmm. And number two well was when they went with the second well, because it got some gas in the first well. And he went in the second well, and they drilled down, and they hit red beds. Well, of course, the eastern people knew that if you were in red beds, you were in the slurry, and so there couldn't be any Devonian reefs here. So, however, the well had been spudded originally to be drilled in the in that legal subdivision. And when they got there, the engineer said, that's the middle of a slough, and he moved it to the west side of the slough. If he drilled the well there, there had been a dry hole. But he moved it west and hit Leduc number one. Well, how did they get to Leduc number one? When the head office had said, and if you reach Solorian, shut her down. Well, that was easy. Jack Webb forgot to send the message that evening 
that we were in red beds. And <clears throat> he sent down then to Link in Toronto. And um, next morning, but Link uh, accidentally went golfing and hadn't got back to get the message. So this was the weekend. Of course, nobody works down in New York at the weekend. So Monday morning, but by Monday morning, they had the well in the reef. So it really comes down to Des Boggs recognized the reef up there. Doug Lair the, recognized the reef down at Bruderheim. And the unknown engineer that moved the well west just to keep out of the slough. They are the three discoverers of the Duke. Yeah, that's indeed. And Doug Lair, yeah, I, I, I yeah. gave him that job when he, yeah. was, he was unemployed at Lake Louise, and I walked to him, and uh, the job at the conservation board. Yeah. And uh, so it shows that... Uh, the work that the, the conservation board paid off and yeah. finally paid the salaries it needs, today. Yeah. It needs organizations yeah. like that. Yeah.